Six years ago, 21 year old Libby Caswell died in Independence. Her death was ruled a suicide, but her loved ones believe she was murdered. Fox 4's Lexi French spoke with friends of Libby and the social justice organization representing her family about what they believe led to her death and why they are requesting an independent review of the case. Family and friends of Libby Caswell gathered at the steps of the Eastern Jackson County Courthouse Monday morning, asking for justice for Libby six years after her death. The Alliance for Hope International also released its findings after a four year investigation and review of Libby's case. Her case was poorly investigated by the Independence Police Department. Uh, we have reviewed that case. We've reviewed it with uh, several hundred uh, other law enforcement officers, prosecutors, forensic experts, and they all conclude the same thing. Libby Caswell was murdered. Elizabeth Caswell, known as Libby, died in an Independence, Missouri motel on December 11, 2017. According to the Independence Police Department, the case was reviewed by multiple detectives within the Criminal Investigations Unit and witnesses were interviewed at the scene. The case was ruled a suicide. They took at face value from all the suspects in the case uh, exactly what they said and they never tried to corroborate any of that information. Monday, the Alliance for Hope International, a social change organization, discussed findings from its forensic team known as the Justice Project's review and independent investigation of the case. The Justice Project and Libby's family and friends urged Jackson County prosecutors to request an investigation by a law enforcement agency separate from IPD. And it's time that someone steps forward and owns up to what happened and that they get justice because her family deserves it. The Independence Police Department said in a statement at one time the case was reopened at the request of Elizabeth's family and Alliance for Hope International. The FBI assisted IPD during that investigation. The case was presented again to the Jackson County Prosecutor's Office to determine if there were any criminal charges to be filed. The Jackson County Prosecutor's Office said in a statement Monday that a second veteran prosecutor was reassigned to review the case a second time, but determined that the evidence was insufficient to justify criminal charges for multiple reasons. In Independence, Lexi French, Fox 4, working for you.